Coming on to the last set for your GS paper 1. Now the first question on this set talks about opposite sentences. Basically the low uh, thick clouds reflect the solar radiations and cool the surface. So those are low thick clouds and the high thin clouds actually absorb the infrared radiations and do the warming. So neither of these statements are correct here. The next question talks about Bidi Bidi. Bidi Bidi is one of the largest refugee settlement sites of Uganda, not Kenya. So the first statement is incorrect and the people who fled from the Sudanese war were given shelter at Bidi Bidi camp. So uh, second is correct. Now um, Dadaab was one of the major refugee camps of Kenya but recently Kenya government has said to close that however this had given refugee to, uh, refuge to the uh, the people who fled from the Somalia civil war so two and three are the right options for this question coming on to the next question the organization of Turkic uh, states are Azerbaijan and Uzbekistan are its members. So two and five are the right options. The other members are Kazakhstan, Turkey and Kyrgyzstan. Okay, uh, the next one is now the largest solar plant. Uh, uh, previously it was the Pavagad in Karnataka and now it has been planned at the Kutch region in Gujarat so that has been recently planned so Gujarat would have its largest solar power plant in India the fully solar powered international airport is the Cochin airport recently in news and the largest floating solar voltaic project so far it was at Sim Simhandari in Andhra Pradesh however the recent one at Omkareshwar has been planned which has 600 megawatts of capacity now this Omkareshwar plant has been at Madhya Pradesh and that would be the next plant so three is incorrect so one and two are the correct options now the Gujarat one the solar park has been planned and this would be around 4750 uh, megawatts of plant uh, the solar plant that has been planned now this sentence is not clearly revealed whether it is asking about the existing one or the planned one so uh, if that is taken into consideration one and two would be the right option the next is regarding the UN convention on laws of seas now based on the laws of the seas uh, definitely a state has a right to establish the breadth of its territorial sea line to a limit not exceeding 12 nautical miles measured from the baseline in accordance to the convention and according to the right of innocent passage whether it is a coastal or a landlocked they would enjoy the rights through the territorial sea so one is correct two is correct and the exclusive economic uh, zone shall not be beyond 200 nautical miles from the baseline which is the breadth of the territorial sea that is to be measured so all the three statements here get correct the next question talks about the Senkaku Island and this is one of the marine disputes between China and Japan uh, in the East China Sea. So this has been recently in news and a direct question uh, from current affairs. The next is the military bases by China in Africa. So uh, some of the important ones are one of the one that China is planning is at Tanzania, a naval base. Uh, Equatorial Guinea is one of the military bases. And then there is another plan for uh, a base in Djibouti. But Chad is not one of those. Then the suspension of the constitution and government by military. Yes, it happened in Guinea. Uh, Lebanon has seen se severe economic depression nearly um, 90 percent of those Syrian refugees the 1.5 million Syrian refugees in Lebanon are living below extreme poverty line and this has been one of the uh, most uh, uh, top 10 economic depressions that have been rated so Lebanon definitely under the cycle of ec uh, economic depression and then Tunisia there has been continuous suspension of the parliament by the president the recent one happened in the last July and there has been no way no no relief to the citizens because of the constant changing government so three of the pairs here are 
Correct. The next question talks about the region and the right match. So Anatolia is in Turkey. Amhara is a lingo, uh, ethno-linguistic group from Ethiopia. Again, correct. Catalonia was recently in news because it is considered as one of the most production powerhouse, important production powerhouse of Europe. And this is in Spain. And Cabo uh, Delgado is one of the northwest province of Mozambique. So uh, two of the options here are right matches so this is new kind of questions that have been witnessed this year which of the following uh, with reference to indian laws about wildlife protection act 1971 wild animals are the sole property of government of uh, of the government except in the case of uh, vermin which can be hunted under section 11 of uh, the section 29 of the section 35 of the wildlife protection act uh, wild animals are declared protected uh, and they are protected uh, they are considered as equal protection both in the protected area as well as outside however mere apprehension of a protected wild animal becoming a danger is not a ground for its captive killing uh, of its captivation or killing so one and two are the correct option now the recently there was an article leopard in the spot and that's what we covered in our uh, are you on the right track series of the hindu analysis this was the same question from there and this this uh, concept has been clearly mentioned that mere apprehension cannot be a ground for uh, the same purpose the next uh, cultivators of fungi a good mutualism is between ant and fungi so insects and fungi are considered as good mutualistic groups so ant is the right option here the next question is the rock edicts of Ashoka so the Dholi rock edict is seen in the banks of Daya river on Bhubaneswar in Odisha so a correct match uh, Jaguda is seen uh, as one of the parts of Kalinga and uh, this is again in Odisha so this is not a correct match Kalsi is seen in Uttarakhand, so again not a correct match. Eragudi is one of the rock edicts which is seen in Andhra Pradesh, so a correct match. And this has been protected in the Kurnool district. So one and two are the correct options. So two pairs here are correct. The next question is the kings and their right dynasties. So Nanaku, uh, Nanaku was from the Chandela dynasty. He was the founder of the Chandela dynasty. Jaya Shakti was again from the Chandala dynasty. Nagabhat II was from Gujar Pratihar dynasty. And Bhoja belonged to the Parma dynasty. So one and three are the right matches so you are not asked one and three are the right matches the question is relatively simple so only two of the pairs are right here the next question is about sangam literature sangam literature talks about the four known varnas so the four known varnas are the brahman king traders and the uh, the the uh, the the king's traders farmers and the fourth classification which is the kuti has not been much discussed but yes there were classification of Varnam which was known to the Sangam poet and Tolikyam has mentioned that uh, in the literature so B is the right option the next question is Yoga Vashishtu was translated into Persian by Nizamuddin Panipati during the reign of Akbar. It was Akbar Jahangir and Dara Shuku who uh, talked about uh, the directives for translation uh, in Persian. The next is recently we had taken a class on Ramanujan Charya, the new statue which has been in, uh, 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 which has been inaugurated, and the teachings of Ramanujan means focuses on salvation through devotion, and it is it, the the uh, the idea was that moksha cannot be attained through uh, metaphysics or nirgun brahman there has to be a sagun uh, roop that is uh, a Go, go, uh, personification of the god that was uh, needed and therefore the best method to attain salvation was through devotion the next question here talks about somnath circuit now somnath circuit at veraval recently has been inaugurated it is one of the jyotirling shrines and has been mentioned in the description of albaruni it was because of this description of albaruni read by mahmud of ghazni that mahmud of ghazni invaded the somnath temple and the pran pratishtha was done by uh, Dr. Rajendra Prasad, not Dr. Radhakrishnan. So one and two are the right options here. The next question talks about the B and the T cells. Very direct question from your uh, um, NCRT biology. So it protects us from the diseases caused by pathogens. T cells actually wipe off the 
infectious cells and B cells provide the antibody. The next question focuses on nanoparticles. Now, note nanoparticles do exist other than human so it's not just that they exist because of human uh, nano nanoparticles are present in cosmetics for example sunscreen has titanium oxide zinc oxide nanoparticles which are present and these are harmful and unsafe <coughs> so two and three are the right options here excuse me <coughs> dna barcoding is used for identification so two and three are the right option d becomes the right answer here and the last question is what causes acid rain so it is nitrogen oxide and sulfur dioxide which creates nitric acid and sulfuric acid the cause for acid rain so two and four are the right options for this question so those were some of the questions of gs that we have discussed today the important links are available in the description below if you have any questions or queries feel free to connect back to us we'll be more than happy to resolve and the complete gs study material video lectures are now available on doorstep tutor so don't miss the opportunity have a wonderful day ahead